On this week's episode of the Ritual Misery podcast, we begin to prep for summer, or as I like to call it, Marie Kondo season. We also talk about a lot of crazy nerd stuff like Avengers and Game of Thrones. And Cord Killers. Um, let's go ahead and kill this cord. Uh, my file didn't open. <laughs> That's what happens when it's been two weeks. Burnt, burnt, burnt dinner. I don't even know. I don't even know what the sound sounds like. Hello and welcome. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to cut that in. Hello and welcome to the Ritual Misery Podcast, episode 212 for Thursday, the tw- 2nd of May. It's not, it's not the 2nd of May. It's like the 9th of May, 2019. This is your two lifelong friends. Their guests celebrate all things geek. I'm Amos. That's Kent. And you're missing the week in between. That's fine because so did we, apparently. Oh, my God, man. <laughs> it is indeed the 9th of May. Um, our notes do say, or did say anyway, until just now, the 2nd of May, because these were the notes for last week's show. <laughs> and, um, uh, as we established in the pre-show, uh, which you can all... Uh, get by becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash ritual misery. I'm getting ahead of myself, I know. Um, but uh, we were talking about how naps on Thursday uh, seem to be a thing the last couple of weeks. Yes, yes. This is that time of year where everything is kind of like, oh, hey, I'm busy. All the time busy. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Last weekend was really busy, man, for, for nerds everywhere. Uh, Avengers Endgame came out on Friday. Well, Thursday, technically. Uh, yeah. But that was uh, probably like the nerd event of the year. Um, and you went and saw it, right? It? No, of course I, not. Of course I didn't <laughs> see it. Although, uh, according to my uh, my appearance on Cord Killers last week, uh, I get to go watch it. Well, we get one more, uh, one more patron over there, and I'll go watch it, and then I'll start watching the rest of the MCU in reverse order just to see what happens. Yeah, and that's that's gonna be an interesting experiment. Experiment because you're, as far as I know, you're gonna report back to Brian and Tom um, on your experience, right? Yeah, yeah, because that's yeah. that's the funnest way to go. Oh, you know what I should do right now? I should totally. Um, uh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, play video about, to our viewers. Yeah, how That'd about be... video? <laughs> um, yeah. So me, on the other hand, I have seen every MCU movie, and in fact, I've seen Endgame three times now. Jesus. <laughs> is it good or is it that long you just keep falling asleep in the middle of it uh your bladder you gotta come back and watch the part that you missed during the three potty breaks you took during the, the seven hour movie marathon that is one movie uh no i i don't even remember the last time i've taken a a break of any kind during moving the theater i was probably like eight years old the last time i needed a break mm. uh no uh it's 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 a good three hours and something it's like all said, you're in the theater for probably close to four hours. Um, our fir- I do want to talk about our first experience seeing the movie. We went on Friday night. I think it was Friday night. Yeah, we went on yeah. Friday night. And um, we tried to see the 3D movie. Not because we're necessarily a huge fan of 3D, but we figured that in the town of Alamogordo... The final showing of the night in 3D would probably be the least crowded. Um, that didn't pan out so well for a couple of reasons. <laughs> Number one, I think every show was sold out, so that didn't matter at all. Um, but also, their 3D presentation uh, did not work. <laughs> so like, the, like... the movie played, but it was not showing in 3D. It, instead, th- the objects that were supposed to be in the background, so like the... I, yeah, so like the foreground was playing fine, but the background you just had double image. So like if there was a tree in the background, there would just be two trees. Two trees. <laughs> so we get about five, six, seven minutes, something like that, into the movie, and they 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 stopped the movie, and they the little guy pops out the little window at the top, and he's like, he's like, hey, sorry guys, uh, we're gonna go ahead and try to fix this. We're gonna start the movie over for you guys, but we're gonna we're gonna refocus and uh, get this thing right. Uh. They they restarted the movie. Uh-huh. It was still out of focus. <laughs> what the shit? And then so we got it like two minutes into it this time. And they're like, okay, uh, all right, sorry guys, sorry. I think we got it this time. Um, here we go. All right, we're starting over. 
still out of focus. Oh my god! What the shit? So then, like a like a I, I don't know a theater executive or whatever comes in. Somebody from management comes into the theater and says like, "Hey, um, would you guys be okay with just watching the 2D version of the movie?" And everybody like across the board, the entire theater was like, "Yes, just play the fucking movie." <laughs> So they're like, okay, all right, we'll 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 figure out a way. By the time you get out of the movie, we'll have a way figured out to to make it up to you. Um, just uh, you know, enjoy the movie. Mm-hmm. So everybody's like clapping and shit. Like, all right, cool. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So they start playing the movie. It's two D, but it's it's like it's only in like two color. It's like pink and green color on the screen. <laughs> it's like what the fuck is going on? So the little man pops out again, like, oh, sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Hold on. This time for real. Now, every time you see a little man pops out the window, I'm thinking some Willy Wonky shit. So <laughs> yes. his door pops open, like. <laughs> so that's curtain. how we all, that's, that's how we saw it. And the thing, like, there's just like this little man, like, oh, hello. You know, he was, he was orange. He was wearing like white coveralls. <laughs> uh, Green hair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's like, all right, guys, here we go. This time for real. And no shit. The movie started playing correctly. Uh, this time, though, we had seen the opening couple of minutes of the movie about five. This was our fifth viewing, I think, of the opening of the movie. And the entire audience was reciting the lines along with the actors. <laughs> <laughs> so that was that was the start of Endgame for me. Oh, <laughs> uh, in, in, in my in my wildest hopes, I, I in my mind, there's a dude or a chick that walked in. Right before the last time you watched the in, the beginning of it, that was like fuck. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. And they still think there's like this thirty minutes that they missed. And they're like, <laughs> yes. man, that's the longest movie ever. <laughs> yes. And how is it that the entire theater knew the first five movie minutes of, or the the first thirty five minutes of this movie line for line? Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> play the opening credits until half hour in. This is insane. <laughs> it's, there's more people worked in this movie than I've ever thought of. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. But yeah, fun times and what a great movie. Like I said, I've seen it three times. I'm considering seeing it a fourth. <laughs> uh yeah, way to help the other team there, buddy. Yeah, well, it's uh, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Yeah. Um, I did see the preview for it chapter two today, which blew my fucking mind. Holy yeah. crap, dude. That, that looks so good. So creepy. Yep. This was great timing. I finally watched... Thank you, MJ Snow, for the subscription on twitch.tv slash ritual misery. Um, I actually watched the 2017 It, so It Chapter 1, mm-hmm. for the first time less than a week ago. Oh, really? Yeah. So it was great timing for me. Oh, wow. Uh, it's yeah, such I, a I good movie. It is. And it's... It's weird, man. So I I live in a house with somebody who does not like horror movies. Hmm. So my love of horror movies is kind of just put on a shelf and I watch when I can. Uh, no, so so Steph enjoys slasher movies. Like she likes Friday the 13th and, and Nightmare on Elm Street and things like that. Mm-hmm. Halloween is a classic here. But anything beyond anything that's actually scary, mm-mm. she doesn't want anything to do with it. Um. So it took me a while <laughs> to watch it. Um, yeah, but it was good. It was good, and I am looking forward to the second one, and that, that trailer dropped at just the right time for me. Yeah, I was... And I forget... the art Because it's an a Apple News article, and it's like, uh, the trailer, the, the teaser trailer for It just dropped, and it scared the bejesus out of us or something. And I was like, you're bullshitting. Yeah. And the first time I watched it, I was like, hmm, that's... And then the second time I watched the the teaser trailer, this isn't even a full fledged trailer. This is the teaser trailer. Yeah, it's essentially just one scene with a bunch of flashes of other random stuff. The second time I watched it, I started picking up on things that I missed the first time, and mm. I was getting more and more creeped out as I went. And I was like, "Oh, this is this is yeah. gonna be gold." I watched it. I watched it. I, I knew it came out because you texted me mm-hmm. during my lunch break today, and I watched it in my car on my phone. Uh, the lighting conditions were bad. It's a small screen. Sound wasn't great. Uh, and I was hyped by watching that. I'm going to watch it on my 65-inch OLED uh, once the show is over. 
<laughs> and see how how it plays there. It's I'm oh my god, I'm so excited. Some right of now. the details are very subtle, and it's uh, it actually gave me flashbacks of the book because there's some some of the details in the book itself that are very subtle that you don't catch the first reading through. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so Game of Thrones had a big episode. Yeah, the uh, uh, the 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 pit monster, right? The, 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 the pit monster. Yeah, the 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 monster of the pits. No, is that that the wrong show? It's probably the wrong show. Mm. Hey, before we get it, before we get into Game of Thrones, because we're gonna talk a little while about uh, some Game of Thrones stuff. Uh, tell me about Marie Kondo. Oh, uh, so we're hitting springtime. I know everybody mm-hmm. else is like, we've been in spring for a while. Fuck you. Uh, it's it's May, which <laughs> is, is springtime in Alaska. And I'm doing the Marie Kondo thing. I'm like, hey, does this bring me joy? No, toss it. It's gone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've I've got two loads of stuff that's gone to the dump already. I've got a load waiting to go to a donation uh, bin. Uh, and these are truckloads, like, you know, in my, my Ram 2500. Like, it's, you know, not, not a small load. Um, so she's it. Right. No, that's what he promised and didn't happen anyway. So yeah, I'm just I'm kind of clearing stuff out. I've been working on my office, so you can actually I can actually see the floor now because I started clearing stuff out of here. Mm. Um, and it, it's just that season. And I I tell you what, it it really feels good to just get rid of random shit. That is the truth man i've been on a i've been on like an extended spring cleaning kick for about a year now <laughs> <laughs> that's how much crap i've got yeah it's it's kind of ridiculous i got a i got a whole stack of books over here some like a bunch of tom clancy stuff that i'm never gonna read i'm just gonna let's just deal with it all right like I, I, i'm not gonna read it i've still got a bunch of stephen king books i'm i'm going to read but i haven't had a chance to yet Right. I've still got Dragonlance books that I've owned for twenty years and haven't read. Like I, I right. don't need to add a new author to my to my to my slate. Uh, uh, so yeah, yep. just just getting rid of shit. Um, I finally moved my my printer in here, my uh, my photo printer. Finally moved it mm-hmm. in here, and now I actually have space at the bar to I don't know have drinks. So that's a plus. Uh, but yeah, it's just that season, man. And holy crap, so much stuff just getting chucked out. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Good stuff. Um, so yeah, Game of Thrones, <laughs> uh, yeah. the long night. So episode three, um, happened. That was the longest battle ever shown on television. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe even like a put on film, right? Cause I don't even think a movie has damn near an hour and a half battle scene. Right. Um, how spoiler you want to get with this? Not, not. Super. Um, I don't want to like. I don't want to do a recap of the episode because mm. people can just go over to let's talk about thrones dot com. Mm. Is that right? Uh, and if they want a recap of it, um, but something that we have been doing. So last time we were together was was two weeks ago, and we discussed our Deadpool's yes. for Game of Thrones. And I thought it'd be fun to talk about the score, like where where we sit. Uh, do you want to do that? Sure. Uh, who do you want to start first? All right. So, all right, so basically, the w- the way this worked is it was not all the characters, um, as we found out after the fact. This was someone else's product. Uh, but basically, the the idea was to list all of the, the characters, all the like named characters, and uh, basically guess if they're going to live or die. And then, if you chose that they were going to die, you could risk that point. Um, with the promise of doubling it, if you're correct, uh, by saying that they are going to become a white. Yep. Um, real with, quick, I want to mention that uh, W. Scott S. One brought his Robot Chicken Army Raid to yes. uh, the show. So thank you very much, W. Scott S. One, and all of the people that raided with him. Much obliged. Oh, yeah. Thank you, W. Scott S. One. Um, and, and all of your raiders. Chicken Raiders. Raiders. Robot. Well, if you'd be the Raider, would we be the Raidee? Then who are the other people that are raiding with them? Would they be like the, the Raidettes? I don't know. Uh, but uh, thank you, Squid, for the subscription. All right, so let's let's jump into this. Uh, so people that... Uh, all right, so this is... So Game of Thrones or any television that is watched live by people, it's basically like a sporting event now. I mean, if you get mad about a spoiler from a television show from two weeks ago, 
go ahead and change the channel now. I, uh, I, I heard somewhere uh, the the, and I really like this idea. The cap on spoilers for a TV show is twenty four hour hours, okay, and for a movie is seven days. Seven days. Yep. I'm going to honor the movie win a lot longer than that. I'm going to go like a month. Well, it, it might be a little different when there, when you have such a high demand that it's hard to get tickets to the movie. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I, I like that. 24 hours and seven days. Uh, after that, I guess you're just screwed. So if you haven't watched episode three or episode four of the eighth season of Game of Thrones and you're interested, then you might want to skip ahead, say, five minutes. Yeah, or check back in five minutes. You might have to skip another five. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. So uh, the first one on the list that, uh, at least in the order that they put them here, the first death that we get is Theon Greyjoy. Um, yeah. He's not the first death that occurs during the episode, but he's the first one on the list mm -hmm. that is dead. Uh, we both called that one. Both we, of us said that Theon's going to die. did, yes, because his story arc had officially ended. Yeah. So the next person in the list is right after Theon is Melisandre. Mm -hmm. I thought that she was going to live because I foolishly thought that she had gone back to Essos and was now just out of the picture and was not going to be seen again. Um... Nope, yep. she showed up. She played a very large part in the battle for Winterfell. And it was basically like the battle for Westeros and the battle for like humanity. Yeah. Um, she played a large part and she decided, I guess, at the end that her journey was done. So she let herself die. Uh, I said she was going to live. I did not get that point. I said she was going to die because I remembered her telling Varys that they had to return. They were both going to die in this continent. It wouldn't make sense for her to come back after the show is over to die. So, <sighs> yeah. Okay. Good point. Good point. Good. Point. <laughs> All right. So immediately after that in the list is Jorah Mormont. Yep. And uh, we both got the. Well, I got it right. Did you get it right? I said that he would die, so I got that point. But mm -hmm. I immediately got that point revoked for me because he did not become a white. I thought he would become a white, which is the same thing that I did with Theon. So, so we're I think we're tied at one apiece at this point. Right? We are, yes. Okay, all right. So moving on, um, I thought that uh, Tormund would be dead by the end of the series. So we don't know yet if uh, that's going to happen, but I. I go. I went ahead and gave myself a big goose egg on this column because I think the white making portion of the show is over, and um, I said that he was going to become a white. So I went ahead and gave myself a a zero for Tormund. Mm. Yeah, um, I said he was going to die, which I guess technically isn't a zero yet, but right. for all intents and purposes, it's kind of. I think his story is done. I think it is. I, yeah, I, I really doubt that we're going to see Tormund again in the show. Unless, I mean, unless something happens at the wall when they go to cross the wall at Castle Black in order to go further north or whatever else. Unless some, there's some mystical shit that happens there, like a last second, you know, whatever, whatever. But yeah, I think he's pretty much done for the season. Yeah. So the next person uh, in the list that did not survive is Beric Dondarrion. Um, same story here is what I did with Jorah. Uh, I said he was going to die, got that point, but I got it taken away because I thought he was going to become a white. Yeah. Um, I got this one right. Yeah. So at this point I'm at three points cause I picked, uh, Melisandre, Jorah and Beric correctly. Yeah. So I'm at one point or I'm sorry. Uh, yes. One point at this point in the, the game, but then we get down to the actually the major spoiler of the episode. So mm -hmm. if you really don't want to be spoiled on Game of Thrones, like you need to skip ahead right now. <laughs> uh, there's there's three bonus questions at the bottom. Uh, is Daenerys pregnant? Is we worth don't one know. Point. Yeah, who kills the Night King is worth two points. We and do then know. Who hold, yeah, right, and then who holds the Iron Throne at the end is worth four points. Um, I ended up getting the two points for correctly saying that Arya would kill. The Night King. I was correct about that from episode one to episode <laughs> 802 and decided to switch it at the last second for episode 803 
And that's the episode in which it happened. Like the one episode, literally the one thing, the only time in the entire show's history or reading the books or anything else that, that in my mind, it was not Arya that would do it was when this damn Deadpool got filled out. <laughs> Amazing. Had it been a week so, prior, I would have gotten that right. <laughs> yeah. So we're tied at three. Yes. Um, going into the next episode, there was a death in the next episode, in, in episode four. However, uh, that character is not in the list for the Deadpool. So. Although, um, if, if if they were... Um, because we had to, we split it because we we figured uh, this character and Grey Worm would split. We both said that this character that this character and Grey Worm would split, so one would live and one would die. Right. Yeah. So I said that Grey Worm is going to be dead by the end of the series. Uh, but when I when we talked about it, like immediately after making this sheet and picking our answers, um, I I decided that I was wrong about that, and I thought that Grey Worm would live, yeah. and. And Masande would would die die, and uh, so far my follow up theory is correct, <laughs> uh, but I don't get any points because I already screwed it up. <laughs> so. Yeah, um, I still have my point available because I did take the Grey Worm route, not the Masande route. So right. we shall yep. see if if that comes to fru- if it comes to fruition at all for either of us. So yeah, you know what I'm waiting. To, you know what I'm waiting to see if it comes to fruition. Hmm. Us getting any fucking money in the movie draft. Oh, uh, that would be great. However, that's not how this works out typically. <laughs> and I'm literally stalling because I closed that tab for some stupid ass reason. Right. So last season, this is like the opposite of last season. Last season, we got the first money on the board uh-huh. and we maintained the lead about until about three quarters of the way. Yeah. Through the draft, or with, through the, with the uh, exception of season. one week, like we had a one week dip, but we didn't do a show that week, so it doesn't count. Yeah, exactly. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. <laughs> it's like Thanksgiving week <laughs> or some shit like that. We didn't do a show, and that was the only time we weren't in in, in leads. Yeah. So. And we ended up coming in fourth, I think, last season. Yeah. Um, this is going to be kind of the opposite. Um, I oh. I think that it, I think we're a strong contender for second place. However, Jay, where are we at? Welcome to your movie draft minute presented by DiamondClub.tv for the week of May 6, 2019. I'm your host, Big Voice J. Remember, stressed is desserts spelled backwards. Let's go to the scoreboard. Team Ritual Mystery is in last place, still waiting for its first film. Team Devon Squad's in fifth place with Ugly Dolls giving them $9.6 million. Team Drunk Kids Gaming is in fourth place with $21.8 million. Team Game Night gets $11 million from Longshot and third place with $122 million. Team Have a Drink is in second place with $620.5 million. And Team Movie Party is in first place with a whopping $867.6 million. That's your stream team movie draft minute. All told us as of May 8th, 2019. Uh, movie Party is going to walk away with this. Yeah. It's got the final movie of the summer, which is It Chapter 2. Yeah. Um, certainly we talked about it earlier in this episode. Uh, but before, they could just delete that movie, and they're still going to win by a large margin, I believe. Um. Yeah, I do want to point out that uh, the movie Long Shot came out earlier this week, and um, W. Scott has won. Um, you're in the audience right now. I just want to congratulate you on making um, right now your total for that movie is sitting around $12 million. Um, congratulations, you paid $63 for that movie. So, uh, it's, it's it's paying off a little bit, I guess. Um, so congrats to W. Scottis One and Fitz Chiv. Um, yeah, for, for for that hell of a buy. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, and W. Scottis One actually points out that Movie Party bought Avengers for fifty three game dollars, which was ten dollars less than what they paid for Long Shot. And uh, I mean. Uh, yeah, no, the math doesn't work out at all. <laughs> oh, man. Um, it's going to be fun. We're, we're going to go one more week without a movie on the board, and then we get uh, the blockbuster that is mm. a dog's journey. The blockbuster that may pay for itself. <laughs> Maybe. 
yeah, so that's gonna happen, and then then we've got some we've got some previous movies uh, lined up. We're gonna have Aladdin. We've got Godzilla, King of the Monsters, Secret Life of Pets two, and Spider Man Far From Home. I think we've got a shot at, at second place. Mm, we shall I see. I, th- I think we're at least third. I think we're gonna be fighting with Have a Drink for second place. Mm. I'll be interested to see how it works out. I'm not overly hopeful, basically, because, uh, yeah, the way, and it's not even a strategy thing. The way the draft went down, we didn't have as much control over things as we wanted. And then we, we finally did have the control that we needed. There were no, none of the movies we wanted were left. And, yep. Well, it didn't, it didn't help matters. The end game came out 25th out of, the, out of 30 movies. Yeah. That's pretty much what screwed us. Yeah. Poodle was smart enough to keep just enough money where he was he always had more money than anyone else on yep. the board he always had the advantage and uh yeah played out very nicely for him yeah um, job poodle. hey if uh if if you like movie dollars and you would like us to have more movies go on over to patreon.com slash ritual misery and um you can make that magic happen by being one of our uh, uh lovely patrons and kicking a kicking a little dollar over our way for these episodes yeah, man, show that you give a fuck by giving us a buck over at patreon.com slash ritual misery. Just a buck? Or so. Or so. I mean, at least a buck. You gotta at least give us a buck. <laughs> We're worth a buck. Like, come on. <laughs> so studies show that uh, the contributions increase when women ask for money and when men demand it. Oh, hey, um... Give us at least a dollar over at patreon.com slash ritual misery. Uh, no balls, you won't. Please? <laughs> Do it. <laughs> All right, man. Um, it's time for another sounder, I think. It is. Can I please have your attention? In the last 30 minutes, kids done something. Now you've got a guess. He was very excited. Kids games. Play with him. Play with him. I just want to point out, it took me about 30 seconds to get the sounders working again. <laughs> well, hey, at least it worked. Uh, all right, so we've got a game this week, and it's called Mega Sonic the Manhog. Ooh, it sounds like a really shitty movie. So you're an old school... <laughs> we'll, we'll get to that, too. <laughs> you're an old school gaming nerd like me. A couple of old school games from the 16-bit era are Sonic the Hedgehog. Mm-hmm. And Mega Man. Mm-hmm. Actually, Mega Man started on 8-bit, mm-hmm. I think. Um, but yeah, Mega Man was going strong, especially like the Mega Man X series. That was strong on the 16-bit series or yep. uh, console. So uh, 1, 2, and 3 were on the 8-bit NES console. Yes. And I, don't then, know, yeah. I, don't, I don't know exactly after that. Right. So obviously, you know a lot about the characters from those two games. Uh, so I'm going to test your knowledge. Which game series is this character from? Sonic the Hedgehog or Mega Man? So this is essentially, is this character a Mega Man character? Because right. you know I don't know shit about Sonic <laughs> because it was on the Sega and I couldn't stand the Sega. Uh, I very purposely chose a, a Nintendo uh, game a, a, to A Nintendo franchise, yeah. Sonic, yeah. All right, let's All right. do this. All right, Amos. Is this character from Sonic the Hedgehog or Mega Man? Dr. Eggman, or Eggman, Dr. Eggman. Ooh. Uh, We're going to go with... Shit, this is actually pretty hard. (laughs) Oh, it doesn't get any easier. (laughs) (laughs) Great. (laughs) Um, We're going to go with... uh, That sounds like a Sonic name. You think that's a Sonic name? All right, all right, starting off strong, starting off strong. All right, uh, we've got another doctor here, Dr. Light. Dr. Light is Mega Man. Yeah, that one, I, I thought that one was pretty easy. Dr. Light, I mean, come on. If I would have done Dr. Light first, you would have do- gotten Dr. Eggman uh, right as well, for sure. <laughs> so that's why I put Dr. Eggman first. All right, uh, the next one is Kalinka. Kalinka. Uh, that sounds like a Sonic name. You think Kalinka is Sonic? Mm -hmm. That is a Mega Man character. You're a Mega Man character. Your face is a Mega Man character. (laughs) 
Uh, l- tell me if this is a Mega Man character. Fang the Sniper. Sonic. Um, Fang the Sniper. Yeah, Fang the Sniper is definitely a Sonic character. Good job on that one. Your next one is Reggae. Reggae. Like the music genre. Reggae. Uh, yeah. Uh, Squeeze Mixtape says your face is a Mega Man caricature. (laughs) (laughs) Which is somehow even worse than what we came up with. Right. (laughs) (laughs) I'd like to see one of our artists do a a Mega Man caricature of Amos. (laughs) Um, uh, Reggae. I'm going to go with Sonic. You think reggae is a Sonic character? Sure. You'll be incorrect, sir. It is a Mega Man character. All right. So how about this one? Chaotix. Chaotix with an X on the end. Chaotix. Sonic. All right. So your next one is Amy Rose. Amy Rose. Mega Man. This could be an actual person. You think Amy Rose is... From Mega Man. Incorrect. That is a Sonic character. All right, try this one. Okay. Treble. 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 Like the opposite of bass. Uh, Treble. treble Will. What was reggae? Was reggae Mega Man or reggae was Mega Man, wasn't it? Uh, so treble, we're gonna go with uh, treble and Mega Man as well. Treble, you say, is Mega Man. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right, we got to switch it up here. Okay, um, <laughs> the next one is Sniper Joe. Uh, that seems too easy. I'm going to go with uh, Sonic. That is a Mega Man character. All right, your final one, number ten, is Omo Chow. Omo Chow. Uh, Omo Chow came from the uh, from uh, um, um, uh, Street Fighter, I believe. Uh, that is not one of your choices. Is it B? Sonic the Hedgehog or Mega Man? Uh, um, I'm gonna go Sonic. You say Sonic. You got that correct. You barely passed with a D minus, sir. You got six out of ten correct. Hey, uh, these get degrees. Wait. Yeah. Uh, no. From some schools. Yeah. No. All right. So the re- the reason I wanted to do a quiz that had Sonic the Hedgehog in it is because uh, just before Showtime last week, <laughs> uh, the trailer dropped for Sonic the Hedgehog, and uh, you have not seen this trailer yet. Is that is that still true? Uh, yes. I've okay. not watched the trailer. I've seen a few images, but I have not watched the trailer. Okay, so I want you... Okay, so we're going to watch this trailer. All right, so so live audience, bear with us. If um, if you are a, a after-the-fact listener, uh, you can skip ahead about two and a half minutes if you don't yeah. want to listen to this. But I want to hear... I want to hear you react to this trailer. Um, and for also for audio listeners, go to YouTube... Uh, what is it? What 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 are we? YouTube.com slash ritual misery. Is that yep. even a thing? Um, so, uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. You go to YouTube and search ritual misery and watch this episode. This is episode two twelve. Uh, we're gonna watch Amos watch this trailer because I want to. I want to capture his reactions here. So go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Watch me. All right. Press. Let's see here. We're gonna hit the hit the old start button. All right. So it looks live action. Okay. I'm, I'm into it so far. Seven hundred sixty miles per hour, kilometers per hour. Be nice to know. Lightning hair. That what is that about? Okay, the rings are a nice little thing around the Paramount symbol. Got it. Okay. All right, little POV action uh, making me sick to my stomach. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, I mean, looks looks. Uh, what is he wearing? Adidas. What the hell's going on here? <laughs> All right. Um, uh, 
<laughs> Where to begin? So I know the big hype about this trailer is that uh, he's got two eyes instead of like a single monocular visor thing, whatever. As someone who hated the like, I would. It wasn't just that I didn't like the video game; I actively despised the video game and the playing of it in my presence. Um, because <laughs> it, it just, I don't like. Just like I don't like Mario or uh, Mario Kart on the Wii. It just there's too much going on for my eyes to follow. So therefore, I get defensive oh and say, God. "Fuck it." That's me with Super Smash Brothers. I, can't, I cannot deal with right. That. It's it's just it's. At some point, it's just an epileptic seizure waiting to happen on the screen yep. with no context and no flow, and that's yep. how I've yep. always felt about Sonic. Like I just, I was never into it. Didn't like it. Didn't I? I just don't care about it. I've tried to play it a, a couple times since, and still not into it. Don't give two shits. Sonic is fun for me for about five minutes, with basically no replay value. Does that include the loading screen of the console and the video? Yes, game? of course. Yes, okay, of course. Okay, yeah. So it's yeah, essentially yeah, yeah, like yeah, three yeah. minutes. So like, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then that's it. I'm done with it for like forever. Um, yeah, so he- here's the thing. I It started out, I was like, what the hell's going on here? Like, why is this? And then it started giving me a story, and I didn't like that. Jim Carrey popped on screen, and I got excited because he, this is the role that he's best at, is the mm-hmm. really awkward, uh, uh, semi-maniacal Yeah, it's, it's basically 90s Jim Carrey. Like, we got 90s Jim Carrey back. Mm-hmm. Um, and I thought it was kind of cool right there in the middle where they actually had like a little bit of a story and then it just went way like it jumped the shark way early in the in the trailer and no i'm not gonna watch it right yeah so all right so my my initial reaction was the same as yours with like oh okay the, that's neat with the rings cool <laughs> yeah my second reaction was gangsta's paradise Really? I got spoiled on that because uh, Weird Al tweeted, I really don't appreciate them using a remix of Amish Paradise for the trailer. <laughs> well played, sir. Well played. <laughs> um, yeah, and then, then we see Sonic. Uh, why is he so fucking tall? And Why does he have teeth? And why is... Yeah, the mouth was really like- uncanny to me. Yeah, like, why am I just uncomfortable looking at that thing? Um, and then the, I don't know, the, the trying to put a, a game like that into, like, a real-life, modern-day Earth context is always a failing uh, uh, formula for mm-hmm. me. Uh, I didn't like it. Then had the same reaction as you, like, oh, Jim Carrey's in this. Oh, he's 90s funny. That's cool. I like how he talked to that fucking army guy, because... I want to talk to army guys like that. <laughs> uh, that was cool. And then, then it just got weird from there. And then, Oh, Sonic's an alien now. I mean, was he ever from earth? I don't even know. Like he shouldn't he's, be he, in contact with, he, he's a hedgehog, right? Well, right. But he also runs really fast and hedgehogs in real life. Don't run fast. Right. So, well, I mean, if, if every hedgehog ran fast, we wouldn't care about the one that did. Oh, true. Yeah. That's you know, a good point. like that's, that's the, uh, yeah, so MJ Snow says that they're they're trying to make him look about the same size as Rocket from Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, sure, yeah, that makes sense. But also, the animation looks like shit, and it looks terrible. It looks so bad that basically universally agreed upon by the internet that it looks like trash. That the director tweeted like two days after this trailer came out that okay. Uh, heard you loud and clear. We're going back to the drawing table. The animators are redoing <laughs> all of it. I don't know if that's going to help, though. Um, I mean, let, let, let's get to it. it. If, if I ever watch this movie, it's going to be to watch Jim Carrey. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. that's the only selling point I saw in I, that trailer. See us watching it ironically on, on uh, Diamond Club Movie Night. Yes. Yes, like, oh, look, this movie just dropped on VHS. Oh, wait, wait, I mean, I mean, a DVD, you know, like, um, like, mo- movie party would probably be all over this movie. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. Trailers can sometimes be deceiving. Maybe this is like the movie of the year. Uh, we're just giving it a bad shake because of the animation. I didn't mind the animation <laughs> as much as just everything was just crap. 
Oh my gosh. I don't know, man. Um, I, I do know I'm going to go see Pokemon this weekend. Yeah, I haven't even watched the trailer for that because I don't care. Uh, <gasps> that's kind of where oh I'm gosh. at with all that shit right now. Uh, dude, we got some feedback this week. Uh, we did. We got a voicemail that neither of us have listened to, although... Um, that's dude that can be well uh i don't know this this is dangerous neither one of us had listened to it but this is just to prove our point that whatever you send us we will give time to it on the show so if you call us at um the number shit i don't see it what's the number amos (laughs) yeah you're bad at this Five, I thought it was in the notes, and it's not in the notes. Five six seven six nine eight seven six seven two. 7672 It's on the business card that I have taped to my monitor, so there. Got some of those over Maybe here. Maybe you should try uh, that. <laughs> if you call us at that number and leave us a voicemail, we will play it on the show, and we're going to prove it by playing whatever this Minute Plus uh, voicemail yeah. is. Uh, if you send us art, we will display it. If you send us a video that you made, original content, we will play it. If you if you send us a song that you wrote and performed, we will play it. Um, that's just the kind of show we are. We, we will display your works that you send to us. You, you, you send something to us in the form of music. We may start using it as our tagline for every podcast we produce under the Ritual Misery banner. Uh, flavor, toothpaste, flavor Toothpaste. All right, T U. Yeah, exactly. All right, so let's uh, let's hear this. Let's let's see if we're getting ourselves into trouble here. So, like, you guys say to call, but are you really going to listen to messages? Uh, no, you say you can be there on Thursdays, but you're not there on Thursdays. And you have people like this camp fella, you know, who just like can't accept the realities of the Skywalker name. You know, he's all sure it's. Do eight or twelve or thirteen down the list, but you know, if if Shmee got the old uh, Palpatine thing and what could keep, uh, let's say Leia, I think uh, you maybe Kylo and uh, and uh, Ray, like you know, half brother, half sister, maybe Leia got around, maybe old uh, Smoke, 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 whatever his name is, you know, got some, uh, you know, little action there with Leia. I mean, could have happened. So. Maybe the reason they can communicate so well with each other is you're like half brother, half sister. Maybe put that in your pipe and smoke it there, Mister Del Noche. Yeah, think about that for a minute, eh? Okay, all right. <laughs> thank you, thank you, anonymous caller, for sending that in. I've never heard anyone tell you to fuck off in a better way than that right there. <laughs> I will put that in my pipe <laughs> and smoke it. I will think about uh, all of your inputs about that. Why are you picking on me, though? Why didn't you pick on Amos? Somebody needs to call and pick on Amos. Um, uh, because I'm witty. All right, guys. That's that's the signal. Attack Amos. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him he's wrong. Um, yeah, you raised some good points about uh, the, the rise of Skywalker and potential. Possible theory. I don't know. They, give me a week. I might address these next week. I might address mm. your, your inputs here. Uh, oh, but thank man. you, thank you for for sending that in. Uh, much appreciated. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that was that was awesome. Uh, really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, fuck you, Kent. Um, <laughs> Basically. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, at me, rm <laughs> underscore down <laughs> on Twitter. Oh my gosh, Twitter. Uh, so something they do on a show that I really like is they ask the, uh, their guests if there's a uh, anything on Twitter that they really like lately. And uh, I don't want to steal that from them because it's theirs, but uh, I'm going to steal it from them because it's theirs. And um, <laughs> Panzer, which is at Trade Chat, asks why women have to shave their armpits. Why is that? Why is that a thing? And a lot of people said because of cleanliness and this and that. She was like, well, if that's not why, then why don't, or if that's why, then why don't men have to do it if it's a mm. hygiene thing? And although I was late to the party, I'm sure she will never reply to me, but um, I, it's because of Gillette. Gillette had saturated the men's market of shaving faces and needed a new market. So they started going into Cosmopolitan magazine and showing women with various body parts shaved and it started out with armpits because they couldn't show too much leg 
Um, or maybe we started with ankles and then went to armpits and then went to legs. But either way, it was all Gillette. They hey, all that's, just... that's the path I take. <laughs> ankles, armpits, legs. <laughs> Um, but that's, yeah, that's why. And uh, it just gave me a little memory of that. And I was like, well, oh, fucking fuck Gillette. This sounds like, like Adam ruins everything. Yeah. You, kind yeah. Of you do an expose on. Yeah. Um, except it was stuff you should know, but whatever. Right. Yeah. Then you yeah, say some concept. <laughs> people want to at you and correct you, correct the record. Where, where would they do that? At Ethan Kane on Twitter. E-T-H-A-N-C-A-I-N-E. And if you got something to say to both of us, hit us up on Ritual Misery's Twitter at Ritual Misery. Yeah. Or you can catch Kent at RM underscore Del Noche. I already said that. <laughs> <laughs> or you know what? Just just Google Del Noche and see what happens. I'm, I'm there. Yeah. The, Del Noche or Del Noche 77 is my username almost everywhere <clears throat> except for Twitter. RM underscore Del Noche there. Yep. Um, and of course, you can always join us on the RMP Discord. And I'm sure we have a link to that, right? bit.ly yeah, slash rmp discord that's it that's the one so cruise on over there find us in there we're actually in there more often now than i prefer to be but that's that's where it is <laughs> god i just i don't like discord it's too spammy if, if you're if you're has... listening to this and you are a spammer in discord if you're posting stuff when every single day every time you go live blah 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 cut that shit out like just uh, stop it. Maybe Scottish one. Don't cut that shit out. Thank you for your subscription. Um, yeah, you know what? So on Discord, I I learned something this week that you can disable notifications for certain channels, and uh, that oh, helped my safety. A don't lot. get me started on Twitter uh, on Discord notifications. Yep, it so is I've, a morass of bullshit. I fixed my Discord problems this week. And um, Discord is uh, Discord can be non toxic, and I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying my Discord experience. It should default to non toxic, right? Should, uh, <sighs> but it does. So, I, but I fixed mine. <laughs> At me, <laughs> and uh, I'll, I'll <laughs> explain to you personally how to detoxify Discord. Or tell Noche on Twitter, or hit me up on. Uh, our Discord at uh, bit.ly slash RMP Discord. Yeah. What else? What else we got? Um, that's it, man. We uh, you can find everything we do over at ritualmisery dot com, and yep. uh, check us out at twitch tv slash RMP or twitch uh, something. No. Ritual misery. Twitch tv slash ritual misery. Yeah. Most Thursdays at seven p.m. Pacific. We are. And uh, thanks to Kevin McLeod. Peace. <laughs> See ya. This isn't going to work either. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this broker. <laughs> Yay! Thank you, Flavor Toothpaste. <laughs>